Straps, should you bother? Let's find out. So I'm about to head down to the beach and meet the guys. <sighs> Hi, I hope you'll stop kissing me. Hope, <laughs> hope you'll keep him well and having a great new year. I'm uh, about to head down to the beach and I'm going to meet the guys there and we're going to get in and do a bit of winging. I'm going to meet one guy called Russell and he uh, works for Surf Deck. He's got some prototype straps for me to try out. Now I've never tried straps before so that's going to be an experience in itself. It'll also be an experience to see what these straps are like. They are prototypes so it would be interesting just to try them out and give them a bit of feedback. So I'm going to go down, I'm meeting um, a few of the guys down there and he's going to be down there so I'm going to chase him around for a bit and also Grant's going to be down there so we'll see both of those as well. I think there might be a few others down but we'll have to see when we get there. The wind's going to be pretty mediocre today, it's all over the place again and um, that's the usual thing for us around here in the winter. So I'm going to head down, maybe it'll be 10 mile an hour to 20 mile an hour, hopefully I can get up, it might be on a big wing, we'll have to wait and see. Let's get the van loaded and let's get off, see you down there. So here we are looking to the north and it's Seaburn Park Lighthouse. This lighthouse was moved here in 1983. It used to stand on the South Pier. It was built from cast iron in 1856. And it looks out over the bay that we're riding facing the north. Here's the bay we normally ride in. You can see that it's facing nice so you can pick up those swells from the north to the south. Here's an upgrade of the surf deck straps. These are prototype straps here and they've been given to me by Russell. That's very kind of him to let me try these out today. I've never ridden straps before, so this is a first for me. There's Neil setting up and a few of the other guys getting ready to go in. Let's see if there's any wind on the beach. About three miles an hour, so it's a bit disappointing. So I think I'll hang off half an hour and see if it picks up a bit. It's forecast to pick up to about 25, 30 lit run. Stunning day. I think I'll go and get a coffee from Strollers. Then when it picks up, I'll head in. Well, that was a little bit different day. It was a bit strange riding in foot straps. I'd never done it before. And to be honest with you, I needed my foil moving forward slightly because my back foot wasn't quite in the right place where I wanted to have it. So I will try that next time I put foot straps on. Foot straps, they've got pros and they've got cons to them, just like anything. Some of the pros were the fact that you could use them for a little bit more leverage when you turn into corners and, and be a bit more aggressive and things. And also the problem with putting foot straps on makes you want to jump straight away. So I did try a little jump. I did, apparently I got a little bit 
bit out the wall. I said I was never going to try jumps, but as soon as I put the foot straps on, that's all I could think about. So of course I had to send it. Some of the bad points were you lose a little bit of real estate on your board when you put the foot straps on and your knees are sort of all over them and it takes a little bit of getting used to, but I did get used to it. The good thing specifically about the surf deck foot straps I found was it was super light. They were very comfy. If I was laying on them, I couldn't feel them at all. And if I was standing on them, you don't really notice they're there. It's more you can feel them there, but they don't irritate your buggy. They were super, super big. So I, even though I had boots on and I'm a size 10, I'd get my foot in no problem. And when I was falling off, my feet were coming out no problems as well. I do make the Y-shaped ones as well. And um, the prototypes you had for me to look at were a Y-shaped one and also the single ones. I put the two single ones on. It did have three for me to try, but I just wanted to put it on one side. So I just put two of the foot straps on. I found them very, very comfy, nice to stand on, didn't get in the way. So uh, thumbs up for that product. So it was great chasing the two lads around today. And like I said, the wind was all over the place and he was flying really well and so was Cran. And I seen Russell come across right at the end there on his windsurf and it was really good to see that the drone was following. But when I got home, disaster. Mark had given me his card so that I could upload it and use some of the footage but unfortunately the card was corrupt so we lost all that footage so it's just one of those things some days you win some days you lose and unfortunately we don't have any of that footage for this one but hopefully mark will be out flying his uh, drone another time we'll get some more footage at another time so as you can see ben's getting a little bit bigger took a real interest in the fish tank which is coming on nicely as you can see a lot of the uh, algae is now gone and that's been really great and that's due to putting in extra shrimps as I've shown you and also the snails there. So that's doing really well. I've been keeping up with the water changes and doing really well. So we'll have a closer look. I know a lot of people are interested in it so we'll have a little bit of a closer look and uh, that'll be it for this one. Here's one of the uh, Amano shrimps here and I've got about 10 of these in my tank and I've also got some of these zebra snails here as well and the lace plants you can see there in the background. Here's a marble hatchet fish, these live near the top of the water here as you can see and they're uh, predators and they eat live food. Here's the rest of my rainbows, you've got a bose marnie which is the two colour with the blue at the front and the orange at the back and also the rainbow one with the speckled colours all the way through it. Well I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. What are you doing? What's this? What's this?